Don't you wish all of these have the same area formula? Well, good news, because they do. All regular polygons have the area formula of half apothem times perimeter. But why? Well, let's find out. I'm going to show this with a regular hexagon, but this can be used with any regular polygon. And by the way, regular means that all of the sides are the same length and all of the angles are the same. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to cut the polygon into triangles, like this, and we are going to let the triangles unravel. Notice that the space over here is the perimeter of the polygon. Then we are going to grab half of the triangles and put it in the empty spaces of the other triangles. And look, we formed a parallelogram where the base is half the perimeter. If you feel more comfortable with rectangles rather than parallelograms, we can make a rectangle. So I'm going to cut this part over here and put it over here. So this regular hexagon has the same area as this rectangle. Now we know the base of the rectangle is half the perimeter of this hexagon, but what's the height? Well, it's the height of each of these triangles, which we call the apothem. The apothem goes from the center of this regular polygon straight down perpendicular to one of the side lengths. And the area formula for a rectangle is base times height. And base times height here is half apothem times perimeter. And remember, this works for any regular polygon. So that is why the area formula for any regular polygon is half apothem times perimeter.